With some drinks at the Annex Family Festival, more than 20,000 people were expected to walk through the 21st annual festival on Bloor Street today. We talked to a couple people whose sunny moods match the weather. How are you guys keeping cool today? Watermelon juice. And what do you think about the weather today? Beautiful. Couldn't ask for anything better. Some people are saying it's a little too hot. Oh, we love the heat. Sunscreen and watermelon juice. Is it better than the rain? Yeah. Why? the heat warning the city has opened seven cooling stations across town. They're at Metro Hall, East York and North York Civic Centers, Driftwood Community Center, Etobicoke Civic Center and the McGregor and Centennial Community Centers. All of them except Metro Hall close at seven. Now temperature wise it's going to be another hot and humid day for tomorrow. Those warnings still expanding throughout the day tomorrow as we reach a daytime high of closer to 32 degrees and feeling a lot closer to 40 with the humid X values. Taking a look at our forecast temperatures, I wanted to show you this board just to show you what models are projecting. You can see throughout the overnight in the city of Toronto, we fall closer to that 21 degree mark, but that 21 degrees will feel a lot closer to 25 with the humid X throughout the overnight. By tomorrow, we start to bounce up. A lot of warm air pushing through, and that's going to push us up to 32 degrees, some areas reaching 31, and other areas, but still in the 30 range. Then we start to cool down come Tuesday. It's still going to be hot, still a few degrees above seasonal, but less humid. So let's break down what you need to know. This is what the next few days are looking like. Sunday, it's going to be partly cloudy throughout the evening tonight, and then we're going to see things clearing up throughout the overnight. Heading into tomorrow morning, a mainly clear day then throughout the afternoon clouds building slightly once again but it's a hot and humid evening and humid day tomorrow as we proceed to that 40 degree mark humid x values near that 40 mark for monday Things do change on Tuesday. What we are expecting is a bit of a cold front to push through. So temperatures are going to be still warm. They're still going to be hot, but less humid. And there's also a risk for thunderstorms. When are those thunderstorms? Well, on Tuesday, we can see the thunderstorms anywhere throughout the overnight Monday heading into Tuesday, so around 12 a.m. And then continuing on right throughout the 5 p.m. hour. The risk for thunderstorms will be throughout the morning period. Throughout the afternoon, light rain is expected. Not a significant amount of rainfall is expected whatsoever. Then things start to cool down on Wednesday. We're cooling down. We're getting back to the seasonal mark. So it's not going to be humid and it's going to be temperatures that are going to be in the lower range of the 20 degree mark. So cooling down on Wednesday and it's going to remain that way just for a few days. Now, messy hair don't care forecast. Pam, you may want that ponytail tomorrow. Yes, it's breezy. It's not going to be a strong wind, but it's going to be hot. So that's why I'm suggesting that you keep that hair back to keep refreshed. Also drink plenty of water hat, sunglasses may be necessary. That's because of this heat warning in effect and our UV index will be very high tomorrow. So make sure you do put on some sunblock for tomorrow. Our future cast, our future cast showing us clouds rolling in by Monday, by the afternoon period. You could see the slight potential for showers, but overall a pretty dry picture heading into tomorrow. It's really Tuesday that we can start to see those storms push through and you can see that on the future cast throughout the morning hours. The risk of thunderstorms as well throughout the afternoon. There's less of a risk for thunderstorms, but we're going to see those showers continue and then it will die down after the 5 p.m. hour. That means if you have any activities planned after 5 p.m., things are looking pretty good and pretty promising. Now, tomorrow's forecast, we start off at 22 degrees. We're going to bounce up to that 32 degree mark. But like I said, it's going to feel closer to 40 with the humid X. The average high for this time of year usually hovers around 23 degrees. So we're going to be a few degrees, you could say above seasonal, that's for sure. 32 degrees on Monday, 27 on Tuesday. We could see more cloud cover, the risk of thunderstorms. The same for Wednesday, but it is going to start to cool down. We get to 21 degrees and then take a look at that. We bounce right back up again. So Friday, right throughout the weekend, we're expecting temperatures to get back just a few degrees above seasonal. Pam. Well, I guess because May was so cool and wet, Yes. It really hit me. It's really the first time that I felt almost uncomfortably hot. I, I'm not complaining. I'm don't, not complaining. I know. I was going to say, don't <laughs> complain because we've been complaining so much about how I cool know. it's been. But um, what I can tell you is that this is the first heat warning yeah. that has been issued for the year. And, and the, the thing is, is that it's hot, but it's also 
kind of dangerous weather in terms of like for some people who have medical conditions. It's not a really good time to be out and about. Right. It is cooling down though. It's going to still be hot by midweek. It's cooling down and it will be much more comfortable. Today it's kind of hot and humid. So yes, we don't want to complain, but on days like today it is a little in the risky zone, right? Yeah, you're right. Okay, thank you, Stel. Thank you.